Gente, estamos aqui em Portugal, o melhor país do mundo. Vamos para Viana do Castelo, uma praia muito bonita. I'd rather not put subtitles in. <laughs> All right, so we're in Portugal. We are on our way to Viana do Castelo. Very famous beach for kiting in Portugal, and apparently the conditions are going to be good today. We'll be there in about an hour's time, and you guys will see for yourselves. Welcome to World of Eight. <laughs> Welcome to World of Whaley, episode number 10. Bam. Check this spot out. Bro, how sick. I thought you were kiting like along the pier, not along a beach. Dude, dude. <laughs> this spot. Let's go. Let's go. Do you want to see the one handed phone in one hand and a cartwheel at the same time? Is it possible? It is possible. <laughs> Kaput. That was super fun. I'm always very motivated to try out new spots and we were riding down there and we saw a few kites upwind so we decided to come over here. Turned out to be a super epic spot. A little bit gusty to be honest. Better for the right foot forward tricks that I'm not that good at but yeah overall I enjoyed it a lot. Another day, another spot, another good time, another story added to the book. All right, test, test, one, two, three. Do you copy, do you copy? One, two, three. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, di, do. <laughs> that was a lovely session. Just got off the water, couple hours, nice and fresh. And yeah, we're here in the north of Portugal. 
We don't really know what we're doing. We're kind of following the wind at the moment. And now we're just going to go with the flow. Either we stay here for another night or we continue down to the south of Portugal and slowly back to Tarifa. So let's see, follow our journey. We did not sleep for two hours, not even for two hours last night. You know why? Because I had this great idea of getting this cheap ass hotel room in the middle of the city. I'm like, great, we're gonna be in a nice location. We'll be able to just get out our doorstep and go for a nice dinner. But no, they had to have a party right outside of our door until 4 a.m. And then there was mosquitoes. And Sebastian was coughing right next to me the whole night because he's got COVID. <laughs> oh, there's a cupboard there. Sorry, guys, if the footage is a bit shaky. I'm not really a certified videographer. And Seb is just fucking lazy, he can't be bothered to get out of the car, so I'm gonna continue filming the vlog. So, we're here at Paniche. I don't even know why we stopped here, because it's cloudy. Zero wind. But, I'm gonna walk to the beach anyway. So, as you can see over here, absolutely no wind. Some waves down there. Not really worth it, so that's that. We continue on to Gincho. This spot is sick. You have reached your destination. All right, so it turns out that I got a little overexcited and up on that cliff over there, felt like there was maybe 15 knots more. Ran down here with a nine meter and then realized it's for 12. So we arrived at the wrong time and there's like an air bubble in this bay. So we're gonna try kiting around to the next bay and see if there's no air bubble there and the wind comes into the beach. Apparently it's pretty sketchy because there's some cliffs and if you, yeah, basically if you miss the beach then you're going to be swimming into cliffs but that's not going to happen so we're good and Seb is going to take the car around the back and I'll see you there man. I'll see Seb there man. So that was pretty extreme out there. I was super overpowered on my 12 meters. The wind suddenly pulled through and there must have been around 25, gusting 30 at some point. But it was really cool to ride in between the massive waves, the big cliffs, emerged in mother nature. So yeah, that's the end of the vlog guys. We'll see you soon. And we're gonna continue our road trip towards Tarifa. Peace out.